I'm the inventor of the uh, saw control system. Uh, we started 30 years ago in uh, putting this system together. We're in our third generation of systems as we've learned uh, from sawmill experience. Uh, this system was designed in the sawmill for sawmill people. All right, well, I'm here with Mr. Bobby Howe. Uh, he's currently uh, has his own company named Mtech. And uh, Bob, how long have you been around uh, sawmills and planer mills? Uh? I guess about uh, been around the, the mills uh, about uh, 45, 48 years. Yeah, about 48 years. Okay, and uh, how long you been directly involved with the uh, saw control system? Saw control started in in uh, '94 when I went into machinery side for the company I was working for, and and started in Western Western Canada. Okay, now you're the head pilot here, right? Yes, sir. I am. Been here 16 years, and I enjoy doing my job. How long you had the saw control now, Andy? We've had it probably going on about, I'd say, 10 years. Okay, can you uh, tell us a little bit about your uh, your experience with the saw control and quality and feed speeds and uh, some of the lumber measurements that you uh, participated in some studies? It, uh, it, it was just invaluable about uh, tracking of uh, guide systems and and uh, problems that would happen in the machine center that affected uh, performance and as well as size control. Well, it definitely helped us. A lot of the things we found out, is, you know, we saw we had a little more dish in our saw than we realized, and uh, you know, it helped with the deviation. And I mean, you know, it's a very good tool for the saw filers to help them find problems. I think the saw filers, uh, on the whole, have have been surprised at, at, at how much guide systems affect the performance of their saws. They, it's, it's always been an area that has, has, not been, has not been focused on adequately and, uh, and, uh, uh, and, and also at how it could show them how uh, uh, the saw is getting dull and, uh, and that uh, the sawyer wasn't uh, feeding it hard enough when they were always under the impression that they were overfeeding it and when in fact uh, the, the, uh, the saw was being underfed. So I got uh, these lights on the saw control system here behind me. If it gets a deviation over 15,000, you'll see them start flashing and uh, if it gets to doing that pretty regular, we, we stop it, clean it out, or change saws, whatever what we need to do. But when we figure out what we need to do, we do it. Very true that, that, that the, uh, saw, the uh, filers have had through the years little feedback on, on, on really what was, was uh, the, the uh, opportunities they had, if you will, or the things that they could do to uh, enhance uh, the saw performance and uh, benching techniques uh, that, that they have as far as moving the tire lines or enlarging the tire lines, uh, checking their strain and, and uh, whether the saw was properly strained, the condition of their, of their guides uh, when many times they were changing saws because of, uh, of poor sawing performance when it was adequate, when actually the saw was performing fine, it was the uh, guide issue that, uh, that indicated that uh, it was causing the snaking or the uh, size change in the, in the machine center. Oh no, we don't change saws, we just be changing them. I mean, we change them most of the time, it's not running good, that's for sure. Uh, Maybe got dull, or maybe you know, you hit. Definitely gonna hit stuff once in a while, but you know, but uh, all in all, it, it worked pretty good. Uh, now, in in management, if you interfaced with some of the management and the reports that uh, that's been been given them, and how they appreciated knowing, uh, have quantification on what was going on in their uh, saw shop and in their in their band mill. 
they were able to uh, focus their maintenance people on, on the machine center itself and what was causing the problems there. Um, so it's, it's a tool of management uh, and, and their uh, maintenance uh, people can use to, uh, to focus the, uh, the attention that they need in the, in the proper area. Um, it certainly has been a system that uh, allows them to, to uh, better assess the value of a saw uh, and, and its life, uh, uh, to extend its life as well as to when to uh, take it out of service. It also has allowed them to uh, know when to make saw changes. Um, so that the, they can get the saw off before it's it is damaged and and get it back to the to the filing room uh, in in uh, in a condition that they can improve its its uh, performance and extend its life uh, easier um, in in multiple uh, saw machine centers where in twins and in quads they can uh, determine which saws need to be changed, which ones are uh, not performing uh, correctly, and, uh, and, and spend more time on those particular saws, uh, not just uh, assessing them all as being equal. Now, Mr. Bob, if, uh, if you own the sawmill, what would be your comments about saw control? piece of, uh, uh, of tooling and equipment that provides information that uh, helps all of the key people make better decisions and uh, decisions based on uh, real data. And it's the only tool that allows you to see inside your machine while the material is, uh, is being developed. Uh, you don't have to wait and measure afterwards and then try and uh, figure out what happened to, to cause that. It, uh, it uh, allows you to know right now. And uh, the better mills that use the system, um, they, they uh, focus lots of their decision making on, on the uh, information that they get from it. Now if they took the saw control out today, what would you do? <laughs> Well, uh, I, I really wouldn't like it, I mean, because we got used to running with it now, so it's, a, it's like I say, it's a part of our filing room, and we're, we're used to it, and we know we know how everything's supposed to run, but it's a very good system, yes, I, I agree. Now, what that. about the guides? Uh, does, it, does it help with the guides? Oh, yeah, you can see it on there. We got a certain number, it post start up right around that, but then a couple of thousands or so, and if it, if it ain't around that, we know the guy's not in right or, or something's wrong, you know. But like I say, I think it's a good system for a filing room, I will say that much. I, I'm not just sitting here uh, just blowing smoke, I'm just, I, it's the truth. The uh, saw control system, it gives you uh, quantifying numbers of saw performance and machine performance. Allows you to set feed speeds, it allows you to have uh, charts and graphs of saw performance. It gives management a handle of what's actually happening uh, in the band mill with the, uh, the machine center, how it's uh, performing. This, uh, this gives the maintenance people a, uh, a chance to identify problems so that they're not uh, repairing or calibrating when it's not needed. You know exactly which saw needs to be changed. Uh, if your sizes are off and the, saw, and the saws are functioning properly, then you know it's not the saws, it's, uh, it's set works, uh, line bar alignment, and other things. It's a system that is a tool to help the sawmill do a better job to save money and time, which is the bottom line in this industry.